Janelle, I'm going to probably get fired, but I want to honor you and how I'm going to introduce you. So so we're going to just go into it. <laughs> so <laughs> Don't hey, get fired. Please don't. <laughs> I won't. I won't. I won't. I promise. So, hey, what's up? I'm Aisha Jaffer, and I'm joined by free-ass mother Janelle Monet on The Current. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Janelle. <laughs> Thank you for having me. I love I love I love your 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 intro. <laughs> I'm I want to honor you. I'm so excited about the Age of Pleasure, but I first wanted to just rewind and see if you remember coming to the current for the first time ever in 2010. It was your debut album. You had two very nervous morning hosts in the studio with you. And you calm their nerves by giving them a hug in the studio, which just speaks volumes of your character. Do you remember mm, that at all? I do. I always remember my time there because, um, you know, of, of Prince and being from the Midwest. And you guys have been so supportive of me. So when I came, I was very, very just excited to to finally be, you know, amongst people that have been supportive since the beginning of my career. Absolutely. And and the sentiment, I mean, they remembered and, and they made sure to tell me and, and say hello, which I think is really beautiful. And I know you have ties to Minnesota. You've lived here. And of course, Prince was a mentor to you. And I know Prince has gone on to the next frequency. But I wondered if there was any last sentiments that Prince left with you that you still use in your work today. You know, I, I think that um, yeah, Prince is forever, you know, and, and as somebody who knew him. Um, very well. Of course, there are, you know, private, uh, personal moments, conversations and things that I, you know, can't share, but hold dear with me. And I just think like the rest of the world too, his music lives on, you know, it's like, he just was such a, um, of service musically, artistically, you know, pushing us to go to that, to the next level and, and to evolve. And that's what I take from him. Um, is to keep going, you know, to keep keep finding out new, discovering new things about who you are, what you can be, how far you can take things artistically, stay rooted in community, you know, for half purpose. And uh, that's definitely something that continues to inspire me today. And and that brings me to the Age of Pleasure, of course, out now. I don't think of the Age of Pleasure as just an album, but a movement and a lifestyle, but not something new of you. It's new for us to know about you. And so I wonder, like revealing the Age of Pleasure to everyone, what has that meant to you? It is a movement. It, it It is a movement and it is something to see. It's something, you know, that I live. You know, I I, I, I look at this album not as you know, just an album either, but as a soundtrack to a lifestyle. And I think what we're seeing is that people are um, radically staying rooted in joy, you know, like I am, I'm radically staying rooted in joy. And that's really all I can say. And, and, and people that feel that you see, you can see it, you can feel it on all of us. Like we are, we are trying our best in the midst of everything that is going on in the midst of a world where so many things are going on, we are fighting for our joy and 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 doing it unapologetically. I I love that. And actually, it's like joy and liberation seems to be a theme. And in a recent interview, you said this, my level of freedom will always trigger somebody that is not decided that they are ready to get free. So I think your level of freedom is igniting some revolutionary joy as you're talking about. Can you kind of expand on that sentiment a little more? Like, do you think of this as somewhat of a joy as a protest? We're in the age of pleasure, baby. That's all I can say. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. And then you dropped the music video for Water Slide, which just, it screams age of pleasure. It's beautiful. I'm going to guess that it was filmed at Wonderland West. Is that right? No, oh, I'm another wrong. magical. Oh no, I'm sorry. Another magical place. <laughs> I know, I know. But everything is 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 connected, and I wanted to keep um, the same frequency. You know, it's definitely the sister song, the Lipstick Lover, and um, it's so much fun and just so much joy. And 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 it's summer. You know, I wanted to make sure I, I, I co-directed it with Alan Ferguson, um, and we just basically again. <laughs> are highlighting our lifestyles is I live this, you know, these are real friends. These are real um, people that I've made experiences with. I've been joyful with, and I'm just so happy that we can share this with the rest of the world. 
It's it's really beautiful. I feel like I'm partying with you all around the world, especially when I think of these collaborations too. these very thoughtful collaborations on the record from Sister Nancy to Shion Kuti, Grace Jones, Nia Long, an endless list of of globally known artists, thoughtfully picked artists. I do feel like I'm a little closer to you and closer to your world listening to this record in, you know, the age of pleasure. Like you say, that's what we're in. That's what we're doing. Um do you feel like there was some sort of moment that kind of brought you back from the future and into the present to kind of share your world with us here and through this album? Yeah, you know, I think I think that um, I'm 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 a present tourist right now. You know, just currently actively being present, and I and I think that you know all of my work has led up to this moment of of um, you know Cindy protecting. This, this is what Cindy protected. This is what the albums were protecting is, is us and this joy. And to see it is revolutionary, to feel it is liberating, to be a part of it is an honor. Yeah. And you're documenting it as well. Like you're talking about seeing it and experiencing it and we're hearing it. But also with these videos like Lipstick Lover, like Waterslide, they're on film, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Yep. Eight millimeter, 16 millimeter. Um, It was so important to just show, to show that and to show us, especially black and brown folks and queer and trans folks. And, you know, all of us who, who, you know, us, us, us who understand um, just sort of the importance of um, even in the middle, in the middle of oppression, uh, radically finding their joy, you know, to see us all banding together and 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 having a safe space, you know, to explore, safe space to to be, you know, to be and not be looking over our shoulders and worried about, you know, anything else other than smiling at one another, hugging one another, taking care of each other, because um, there's no there's no without a safe space. There's no there's no pleasure. You know, you cannot relax into finding your age of pleasure. That's right. And documenting it is important to have that joy. Now, one of the questions I've been dying to know, especially as a DJ, is that I know you were slipping in songs in these parties to test out for the age of pleasure. And you were looking for reactions on those songs. And I I just must know, because I do feel like people watching is part of why you DJ. Uh, Mm -hmm. What's the best reaction you got like of of a track that got on the record or was off the record uh, when you were slipping these songs in during these parties? (laughs) Yeah, it was so, I mean, it's so interesting because literally, you know, growing up, like being in the sixth grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, I was always throwing parties with my friends. I was doing the same thing and, you know, having, having our friends be the DJs and, and wanting to play songs and curate experiences. And, but when it's your own music, it's kind of terrifying. So I didn't tell anybody, you know, that it was me when I was slipping my DJ the songs at our parties because I really wanted them to like it and I didn't want them to feel like they had to perform for me, you know, like, oh yeah, we're at we're at Janelle's face. Let's like her her music. And if I knew we were having a, a, a party like on a Saturday or Friday, on a Monday or Tuesday, we would go into the studio and just write songs that we felt like would work in our in our, you know, playlist. And so um I think when people were shazamming, you know, like when I saw like some of my friends who know me, like Shazamming, who is this? Who is this? What is this song? Float, float. What is this? What is this song? Water slide. Like it was just great hearing people trying Shazam, you know, in the middle of the pool, grabbing a towel and like, oh, I'm ready to try to go get their phone to Shazam and see who it is. That was the best feeling. And that that those were the songs that made it on the project. That's perfect. I love that. Well, Janelle Monet, thanks so much for sharing your superpowers with us today. The Age of Pleasure is out now, and we'll see you in September at the Armory. Thanks for hanging out with me yes, today. Yes, I cannot wait to come and perform and and to see you guys. Like it's one of my favorite places to perform at. And thank you so much for your support. And you guys just keep on finding your pleasure and having a wonderful summer. I'll see you soon. See you soon. The Current is public media made possible thanks to member support.